Hey and welcome back to Bell's channel. Today we will be doing part 9 of Bell's Fallout 76 survival guide. And we will be doing the quest final departure where we investigate the Morgantown airport. We are outside the Morgantown airport right now uh, at specifically the Morgantown station which is very close to the airport so that is a pretty good fact because you can unload your stuff uh, sell any equipment before heading into a very large base which I imagine has some very good equipment in it the airport is located at the very tip top of Morgantown uh, away from the hustle and bustle of the actual city um, as you see Morgantown station is on the line of the train track as most stations are so you got Sutton station there Go all the way up, then you got Morgantown Station, and I'm sure you're going to have more stations as you follow this train track down and across. And then there'll probably be some variously up here, everything like that. There'll probably be one up here as well before you get into this area. Okay, so let's go into the Morgantown Airport. Um, hold on, I'll quickly look at the. So I learned that the responders were headquartered at Morgantown Airport. It seems like a good place to search for clues about what happened to them. Because apparently they're all dead. Like we keep seeing them like they're dead. So it's a bit freaky to be honest. And it's going to there. Oh no 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 no. Okay, I think we're good. Ooh, that didn't work, did it? Shroom. Dude, I see you. Yeah, do watch out for scorch because they stand just like these people do. Uh, well, these radioactive stuck people do. And then when they th hear you, they want you. They even do that. It's weird, I know. This is cute. Oh my god. I'm climbing. Oh my god. That's freaky, man. Look, I'm in the air. That's a glitch. <gasps> That's freaked me out. I thought it was literally floating up into the air then. Alright, let's just focus. Let's just not um, check for stuff because you see which is registered advanced responder training. That's where we like invest and check around the airport and see stuff so just ignore that and just follow the main quest okay we're in there's Scorch dude right there Just watch that because there are a lot of scorched. Tinker's right bench. Someone's already opened this. Someone's opened this is like a supply area. They've taken all the supplies. Great. Scrap some all the junk quickly. There's a tinkerer's workbench. I could really use bits to craft some stuff, and I bet I can't. Oh my god, I think I can. I don't even know what I want to craft. Hold on, let me look. 308, that's it. 
Throw it in shotgun if I can. I feel like they're really close. But I think they're just above me. There must be a thatch box nearby. I need to be able to craft ammo. Oh, look at that. Just enough left. I did not need to do that. So, 95 for that and a lot for this now. You, you can craft with this dude if you want. Uh, trade, not craft. So if we go out... This is like where we entered here. Weapon workbench and stuff. He's very creepy in here. Despite the upbeat music. Proton Harbor Ferry Attack. Hey everyone. This is Derek. Making my final report on the events at Harper's Ferry. Hopefully this reaches you all safely. Whatever happened here, it, it was big. The whole area is it's devastated. If any of our people survived, I, I can't find a trace of them. I talked to some of the locals. They say creatures came from the sky and laid waste to the town. Some of the ones who got hurt in the attack were transformed to something. They apparently turned into monsters and attacked anyone they could reach. Riley says he and his people are gonna seal themselves up in the bunker and try to figure out how to fight these creatures. In other words, we won't be getting any more help from these Free States guys. Maria, I was hoping you could get in touch with Ella. See if maybe she can lean on Riley a little. Get him to see that this isn't the way. If you ask me, uh, I think it's damn selfish of them to turn their backs on the rest of us. On people who need their help to survive. Uh, there's nothing else I can do here. Guess we can scratch Harper's Ferry off the map. I'll be heading back soon. But I, I want to check in on some of the farms along the way. Should be about a week. Okay, so Harper's Ferry, that might be worth a visit. Obviously there's nothing going to be there, but still. <laughs> You have a little look. Right, we'll go down here. Trading post, as it says. Go through this weird stuff. We're back here. There's kiosk or something there, but there is a trader you can trade with. Bobby pins sold out. Five capsule trade. Oh, and that's scratched out. Yes, including the robot. I don't really get stuff. I don't really know why all my stuff's like so much. Oh, it won't let me trade ammo. I can only buy ammo. That makes sense. So this is responder database. messages self-serve kiosks hold on training volunteers to all responders from responder Benemy that's Dasha by now everyone has heard about what happened with Casey and the two young survivors that arrived from Sutton it's tragic there are no words but he just didn't know and they trusted him to know so he decided that all volunteers must now start as volunteer candidates first and during this time, we go over the basics now. 
food, water, that sort of thing. Casey decided to travel into the mountains to clear his head. We tried to persuade him to stay, but it's his choice. We hope he'll return soon. Okay. self serve kiosk. The new kiosk should help us handle additional volunteers should any arrive. Luckily, most of the volunteers are too injured to help themselves, let alone others. But they see the kiosk as a sign that people will be arriving soon to help. We need that hope. Kiosk bugs. The mess of the day keeps cycling every hour and every time I add a new volunteer. Doesn't save the profile or send the information to the admin terminal. Interviews. Welcome. Okay. Wait, I wanted it to dispense rations. Confirm. Instant mash round and purified water. Nice. Alright, so let's go this way. We need to get into there. I know we're going back, but we need to go up to here. Which bloody way? Well, I suppose I can go this way. No, I can't. Alright, let's ignore this. I know I found it like two minutes ago. Ah, okay. Come up there and then turn. Come through here. Okay, this is going to have a lot of information and a lot of listening, so do keep your ears open. While we do this, there's the overseers, but this is Maria Chavez, the leader of the free responders. So, the responders are gone, basically. They're dead. My name is Maria Chavez. And I am about to die. The scorched have overrun our defenses. They're coming for us all. If you find this, please listen carefully. We were called the responders. After the bombs fell, we tried, we tried to help people. Maybe I can still help you. The terminal nearby, it, if it's still there, use it. Learn about the inoculation project. It might just save your life. Oh shit! They're, they're here! They're here! I'm out of time. Read the terminal. Learn about the scorched. Remember us. And good luck. Oh, she died. So the responders died, other than possibly members who are out there not at the the place these are bullet points that you can learn charleston flatwoods we know that one Let's jump on it so i can see you can only learn the pinpoints what does that say Poison and power, contact lost, Hudson, AVR Medical Center, Fire Breathers HQ, Fire Breathers, Vault 76, can we open, why still closed, Morgantown, Responders HQ, what does that say, Monaghan Power, Broke, or retake. Ooh. Raider territory. Oh, so this middle bit's raider territory. What does that say? White Spring. Big Bend Travel. Oh, Big Bend Tunnel. Watoga. What does that say? 
Berkeley Springs, Thunder Mountain, Free States. This is where the Free States are. They haven't really explored this bit. There's various locations. That's cool. So it's good to like have a quick gander at that. Yeah, take a picture if you want. Oh god. So here's the overseer's log. Overseer's log. Morgantown. I used to love coming here on weekends, taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, eventually they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of turn up from the inside out. source of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. It looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the Overseer, signing off. Okay. So our main goal of, well, the main storyline is to end the Scorched Plague. So let's look at the responders. We need to learn about the inoculation project. Some messages. Has anyone seen Larry Pickman? Please keep an eye out for Pickman. He's been missing for a couple of days. If you haven't met him, he's about six feet tall, brown hair, green eyes. He's about mid-50. He came in with a large group of refugees. You might remember him as the electrician who decided to do some unsuccessful work on our main computer. I'm sure he meant well, but he had we had to escort him out of the command centre. Anyway, hopefully he's okay. He borrowed my only screwdriver and I need it back. So if you can see him, send him my way. Jeff Nakaruma. Dealing with the Brotherhood. <gasps> I've been a member of the Spawners almost from the start, like all of you. I've put my life on the line to save the lives of others more times than I can remember. Our mission is important. That's why we can't let the Brotherhood of Steel push us around. Of course, we'll send anyone where we can. We'll help anyone where we can. But you all know that our resources are limited. The Brotherhood's been making increasing demands for resources and supplies in the name of holding back the Scorched. Well, the Scorched aren't the only threat around here and the Respondents aren't looking to fight a war. We're healers, we're teachers, we're not soldiers. When the Brotherhood comes asking for your ammo, your stim packs, your water, whatever it is, think carefully. Someone out there might need those supplies to survive. If they ask you to join their ranks because you've got skill they can use, remember that we need those skills just as much, maybe more. We don't have the benefit of power armor and heavy weapons. All we've got is training, knowledge and courage. But that's been enough so far, and I hope we can keep it that way. I'm not saying the Brotherhood of Steel is our enemy. We're on the same side. But lately, we're not really friends either. All I'm asking is that you stay focused on the mission. On our mission. No matter what they ask of you. Chavez. So basically, Brotherhood of Steel wanted, their st wanted more stuff to fight the war. When it's like, dude, we're trying to survive first. Some sad news to share, everyone. Some of you might have heard about Rachel already. But for those who don't know, she said goodbye to the responders and joined the Brotherhood of Steel to work as a combat medic. We'll all miss her. What? I've just been disconnected. 
Why I don't know. I don't know why I, I just got knocked off then. Something just might have not gone right. I don't know. But we're in the middle of reading. Thank you very much. Well, we have got the stuff. But I need to go back in and learn about the inoculation project. And start the advanced responder journey. So we've got to go back in now. Why? I don't get why I did that. I mean... Is it, is it because, like, my internet went down? Or, I mean... Internet on my phone's good. Might have been something to do with... Somebody else. You know, somebody else might have tried to knock me off. Or maybe there was just an issue with the Bethesda servers or something like that. Oh my god, come on, you're taking forever. God, seriously, this is taking forever. Since your box was designed for one purpose, go through overwhelming firepower. Fun. Alright, I'm just going to run back in. <clears throat> we need to begin advanced responder training and learn about the inoculation project before we were so rudely kicked off. I wonder if other people had that. Let me just check the map for other people. If it lets me check the map. Yeah, it looks like everyone just got kicked off. I <laughs> What event is going on over there? Collision course? Well, before we can even go to kill Scorch Beast, we're going to need that inoculation cool. I will tell you why. Remember they said about that Harper's Ferry thing? About how... <laughs> something just came in and just wiped them out well that was basically them scorch beast we'll, we'll learn about it when we learn about the inoculation project you couldn't see then okay turn this way no wrong way Wrong way, I need to be on the other side of the building. Okay, we need to go here. Probably because I was taking so long on the computer. Fire breathers, I just wanted to remind everyone what the fire breathers unit is all always looking for your more manpower if you think you've got what it takes to handle our toughest missions and take on the scorch the melody and madigan would like to meet you don't forget it's a dangerous salmon but it comes with benefits you'll have top priority for both rations and ammunition we ask the fire breathers put their lives on the line but we reward their bravery where we can the job's not for everyone but if you think you can handle the recruitment process and training then i ask you to consider signing up chavez uh dispense rations let's just do that Okay, let's let's go off for a second and we'll go back on it. Okay, advanced thingy. Building camps. So this is advanced responder training. Fonzies are able to construct plausible camps for incoming survivors. Then responders are free to focus on their urgent medical needs. Responder Miguel Caldera provides new volunteers with materials used to fortify camps as well as additional safety tips. Pull to his campsite outside of the airport for supplies and hands-on training. So that's what you should really do next. 
messages, complaint, I don't know, is it messages? No. Personnel files? No, that's not it. I don't know where the inoculation cure is. Oh, I think it's on another terminal. Responder, learn to camp. Where are we supposed to learn about the inoculation cure? It says here, so I don't... One, that's out the building. Two, that's out the building too. I don't... something broke. Let's just click on all of them. gone through them already. Is there a terminal? Concerns. Dasha, I have a serious concerns about the food everyone has been eating. God, good lord, the cows have two heads. I'm taking over some of the local gardens to monitor the plants too. Maybe we shouldn't show anybody how to cook with this kind of food. Did you see the potatoes? It's not right. Or maybe it is right now. Hell, I don't know anymore. Okay. There's Maria's last words. Hmm. I don't know how you learn about the inoculation. I'm going to just check. Okay. You don't learn about it in here, about the inoculation project. You have to leave the outside. I swear to God, I thought it was in here, but it's not. So you need to leave. Oh, I'm thirsty. So we need to leave, go back to Appalachia. What's worse than walking through the forest and being much on by take? Walking through the forest to be collected and get much done by a giant mutated irradiated tick. Great. They literally attached here. I think that's supposed to be Toxic Valley. Very yellow. It's not actually what it looks like when you go there. It might be if there's like a storm or something. So we're going to learn about the inoculation project and begin training as whoever uh, and begin advanced responder training and then we can become, because I still think we're volunteers so I think if we do advanced responder training we become a responder. Where is this siren going off? I don't want to know. Alright, it's apparently telling us to go this way. Quarantine. I don't want to join it. Alright. doing an event. Do I have... I have throwing knives. I'll go have grenades first. Ew. This corpse is great. 
Let's go up here, hold on. To the place I'm alone, West Virginia. We have to do is basically have to defeat five scorched waves, and you get time of sleep. We have literally five minutes to do this. There's a bot up there. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I don't even know your name. What's your name? Big Mitch, nineteen eighty six. Sorry, dude, but that was funny. So what do we do? Event completed. Is that it? Three stim packs. That's all thingy. Four caps. <laughs> Pack card. Then we level up. Sweet. Okay. There's people apparently in the prisons. So they kept people. Oh, that's not right now. Ew, ew, ew. I didn't even know they did that before. So what do we get? Can we open it? Dirty bot. Ew. Oh, I don't get it because I wasn't there the whole time. But I still got some stuff, so I'm fine. Okay, so this is the laboratory. I think we need to go up there. So we have to go to the quarantine bit and go into the laboratory. What's that? Physical event? Okay, that's just somebody. I'm just going to take it. I'm not going to play it. Um, no, we're in the wrong building. Hold on. So this is the lab. We need to go into into medical through the stairs, doofus, what an idiot. So yeah, we're in here. Watch out for the radiation, people. Uh, grab some stuff. Ooh, right away. Uh, and then go to responders laboratory. All right, inoculation project announcement. That might help us, to be honest. Ooh, checkpoint. We did it! Got a trophy. Woo! Right, an ounce of prevention. Study Dr. Hudson's research. So, that's on Express. We haven't even read the content yet. Folks, I've got some exciting news to share. All you, as you all know, Dr. Hudson has been continuing her research in the lab at AVR Medical. Well, she's just reported in to let us know that she's made a significant breakthrough, and it looks like an inoculation against the scorched plague could soon become reality. Let's all c keep our fingers crossed and make sure to do everything we can to help Claire complete her work. Our very spiral depends on it. Jeff Nakamura. Nakamura. They like that name. Scorched Research. Introduction. Those of us struggling to survive in the post-war world face countless threats. The search for safe and sustainable sources of food and water would be enough to challenge anyone but the strange mutated creatures appearing throughout the region greatly increase the danger of day-to-day -day life none of these threats however compare to the scorched to understand these monsters better monsters of the wasteland i've spent time observing them and gathering information from those individuals lucky enough to survive first-hand encounters with the scorched there are still far more questions than answers, but I believe I've made progress in my understanding of these enigmatic and fearsome creatures. Details on subjects below. I'm going to see if that dude wants to get on here. Do you want to go on it? No, I think he's just... Do you want to go on it? Do you want to? Okay, you can go. So we got... Ooh, some nice stuff. 
I, I want to read it. Ooh, Somerset Special. That actually looks like a really good gun. Ooh, I'm going to jump. Inoculation project. So that's what we've got to do. We've got to search for inoculation against the scorched disease. So basically we have to get... Inoculation means a vaccine. We have to get ourselves a vaccine. Scorch Beast, Scorch Beast. The name conjures terrifying images of a huge mutated bat that poisons the ground and warps living creatures into deadly thralls. We first learned about the Scorch Beast from the Brotherhood of Steel, whose soldiers encountered the creatures to the southeast. At first, nobody believed that what they were describing could be real. We thought it was a bullshit story, giving the Brotherhood an excuse to commandeer our ammo and supplies. We were wrong. I'll never forget the first time I saw one of those monstrosities. Black wings against the blood red sunset. Talk about a reality check. We know far too little about these creatures, but we do know they aren't strictly nocturnal. They also seem equally willing to move alone or in small groups, and they're highly aggressive. Worse than that, they're dangerously radioactive, which I believe is an important clue about their origin. If we ever get hold of one for study, I think we could learn a lot about them. Fortunately, be anywhere close to a scorched beast is a near certain death sentence and not just because of the radiation. I'll cover that more in the next entry. Oh god, so it looks like we're going to have to find it, kill one to, you know what I mean? The Scorch Plague. I'd love to give a detailed explanation of what the Scorch Plague is and how it works, but right now we know so little. It just wouldn't be possible, frankly. It's damn frustrating. What we do know is that living creatures that come into contact with Scorch Beast sometimes begin to mutate. The victim's skin turns dark almost black with the flesh smell of ash. Some kind of biochemical process takes hold at this point. Lesions that burn with intense heat begin to form on the victim's bodies. That affected creature appears to be covered in smouldering embers. In the case of humans, highly mental function eventually disappears, replaced by extreme, almost animalistic aggression. We call the creatures that are transformed into this way, scorched. Needless to say, watching a friend or loved one go through this process is both horrifying and heartbreaking. Worse, there's almost nothing we can do about it. I say almost, because we've been able to gather enough information about the Scorch Plague that we might be able to develop a vaccine against it. That's a huge maybe, but we've recently found some equipment at the AVR Medical Center that's in pretty good shape. With the right facilities and a steady supply of Scorch to study, we might just find a way to counter this terrible disease or possibly even reverse it. Only time will tell. I'm just gonna like go away because I think somebody wants to read it. Go on then, get out of my way. Seriously, dude, do you want to die? <sighs> Fine. No, I don't. I don't want to join him. I want to do my own stuff. I'm sorry, dude. You're never even near my level. I'm on like what level? I don't even know. I'm on level nine. Okay, yeah, hurry up and do what you're doing. There's one more bloody entry I want to read. If he's level 5 and is here, he's not really into the storyline at this moment. He's probably just into figuring out what's what. Yeah, see that he's done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Scorched research. Anti-scorched tactics. I hope by now that I've made one point crystal clear. The scorched are lethal. They are nothing less than an existential threat. If we cannot find a way to defeat them, or at the very least contain them, there's no reason to think they won't spread far and wide, transforming or destroying everything in their path. We don't know exactly enough about the scorched to develop real tactics. What we know so far mostly amounts to common sense approaches for dealing with anything deadly pre predator. I'll summarise these points below. If you're unfortunate enough to encounter a scorch beast, likely because it has decided to hunt you, do everything in your power to keep away from it. If you've got a gun and can find an enclosed space to fire from, that's ideal. Scorch beasts are too big to fit in small spaces, kind of like death claws. Remember those scorch beasts emit high 
emit strong radiation that coupled with their powerful bite could compel you to keep your distance at all cost. If you've got no other choice, you should at least consider using some radics before you engage the creature at close range. Scorched humans are savage and deadly. While their ability to speak is limited, don't think they're mindless. They retain enough intelligence and memory to use guns and other weapons, and they're hostile to just about anything they perceive as a potential threat. Fight the Scorched as you would a raider, albeit with a deadly plague. Of vital importance is keeping your distance to minimise the risk of infection. Stay in cover when you can, and give good ground when you need to. Do not let them get close. I know that's not much to go on, but that's still some so much... We don't know about these creatures. Hopefully it'll help at least a little. This concludes my report. And there are messages that you could read between various things. Oh no, we've read them actually already. So yeah, let's leave this. Let other people use it. So, the Scorched Beasts and the Scorched... Well, the Scorched Beasts seem to have this infection. They are the one causing the infection. So we need to stay away from those. And then there's the Scorched, which also emit this cure, but get it from the Scorched Beasts. So that's not too good, is it? Um, I'm guessing by that th when it said we'd need to look at, um, you know, if we could find a Scorched Beast, that would be great. We could study it and find out so much. That leads me to believe as soon as we get the inoculation, we are going to be... Um, thrown into binding them <laughs> you know what I mean to kill one and to study it basically I think that's what we're gonna have to do um I'm just gonna edit all this a bit I'm gonna I'm not gonna do that now tentative plan seems like good ideas and I'm not gonna do that until we go further into thingy so where is oh listen to the volunteer training camp camping 101 Holly tape. Okay, camping 101. No, 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 no. Yes. No, yeah, there. Volunteer training camping 101. Responder Survivors Volunteer Program. Advanced Training. Camping. By Miguel Caldera. Robot Programmer Extraordinaire. Part 1. Finding the perfect camping location. Now that the world has changed, it's hard to stay safe. Used to be that camping was safe as houses. <laughs> well, until there was a strong wind, right? <laughs> These days, nothing is really safe. Even in your camp, someone might hurt you. The perfect spot doesn't matter now. It's all about your defenses. You can build near people you trust who will watch your back, or build things that will watch your back for you. No problem. Anyone can do it. Remember, camps are mobile. We're all explorers now. Camping in a strange <coughs> land full of adventure, wonder, and I don't know why I keep getting attacked by them. So he's basically said to us, come to my, there, uh, my camp. So his camp is located not too far from the airport. As you can see, we're almost there. Don't forget to gather wood, people. Being tethered to your corpse is really rotten, Miguel. I keep hoping that a wolf will stop by and grab your bones, but no such luck. Sigh. Miguel used to be laid back, but these days he's just intense. It never gets old. Unlike Miguel's decomposing remains. 
Oh, so he's dead. So he's got camping syllabus in his tent. Camping syllabus. Find a safe spot. Be sure to look for fresh animals or human droppings nearby. Remember, if you find doo doo, better shoo shoo. <laughs> Use recycled materials to construct your tent. If you find scrap just about anywhere, oh, you can find scrap. Why have a camp, cooking stations, even your own stash? Assignment. Students should check in at any local responder and build a camp. Hold on. I didn't read that properly. What does it say? Camping service, was it? It's not on hollows, it's on notes. There it is. Camping syllabus. Should build a camp in the camp. Okay. In the camp. Volunteers should construct a simple cooking station in a stats box and demonstrate their knowledge to the local responder. Okay. Let's investigate this protector. your camp doesn't have all the necessities, consider using irradiated garbage to add that. Special touch, Miguel has some camp schematics on his terminal in the airport and a camp program holotape. Find them and return here. Okay, hey, so we... Miguel, did you hear something? Of course not, because you're dead. Okay, so now you have to go back to the airport. Great. Find his terminal. And schematics. If you do advanced responder training, like after you do this camping one, you'll then do patrol one. You know, obviously, I think this would be a lot better if they're work NPCs. Just even if it was just responders, I just think it would be better because, like, you can actually do it. Anyway, sweet bean, ignore that play okay tasks oh god Let's go his terminal. Miguel's terminal. To do list. Okay, so anyway, that. Miguel's journal. Safe control. Restricted messages. It's a lot. Schematics. Okay, got it. Ooh, generate a medium. I don't know where his safe is. Can explore a little bit. Oh, there it is. Cooking spit. Just grab it all. Okay, now we've got to run back to the protectron. Yes, I know. It's a bit of running back and forth, but you complete your quest, get some XP and some plans for your camp. To be honest, it doesn't really explain camps very well, it just tells you how to open a camp and start building, which any Fallout On player knows how to do. Side. One day they'll rebuild this good world and I'll be here to see it ah 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 I can't see it I don't have eyes it's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever but the nickname so uncouth none the of fluffy. the other volunteer bots had idiotic names Go over to that nearby clearing and 
set up your can. Maybe at a cook fire and a storage container. You can always move your whole camp later, right after the responders formed. We trained dozens of volunteers to build camps. Okay. Okay, so open your pit boy, press L1 to move your camp. So you can build it kind of whatever. Happy camp. Uh. <laughs> so we need to build a cooking station um, and build a simple stash box. So if you, you can open it like you would normally or you can click on here and transfer. You can actually transfer stuff into your camp. Yes. Hmm. Why? Why do you want to join my team? Seriously. No, dude. I'm busy. All right. I've got no things stored or anything. I'm gonna build a floor. I'm gonna build actually a really cool camp. I have tons of wood and stuff that I can play with. And I did learn that when you build a camp it stores it and you see it's just stored and then it will like literally you put it back up and it, you don't have to reuse supplies and things so I'm gonna do this literally actually I think I'm gonna no store not scrap alright let's bring you here Oh, for God's sake! It was. This is gonna get used to, isn't it? Good. Oh, so I don't like that. Where can I go here? That's what I'll do. This video is probably going to end in a minute. I'm just going to warn you. How is it floating? It's not. Oh, okay. Hold on. As I'm moving it, dude. So we go through it down like that. I see we have four in storage. Okay, then watch this. I'm going to put these two here. Okay. Then I'm going to build... Go to... I think... Here. Okay. Now, you may be thinking, oh my god, walls, whatever. You you have variants. So you press and across. It's the same thing. There we go. Don't go that far. Oh no. That's literally what I want to do. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to roofs. Put roofs up. It can't they can't be floating, they have to be attached to things. I 
not sure it's this on this. Got find it, hold on. Here it is. This is my door. Get some stairs. You can do various things. You can do stairs like this. Or stairs like this. And they like kind of build into it, but it's They won't go there for some reason. But this is like where I want it. Is that is there like a reason I can't I say build it out more? Floating, I don't. Oh, it's pissed me off. Artillery. You put generator here. Cover it. Unless get floors. Open the shutters. Is there any like walls that are broken? <laughs> 